Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, September 13th. We have been commissioned to go forth. Far and near the fields are teeming with the sheaves of ripened grain. Far and near their gold is gleaming o'er the sunny slope and plain. Lord of harvest, send for three birds hear us, Lord, to Thee we cry. Send them now the sheaves to gather ere the harvest time pass by. We have been commissioned to go forth. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And he that winneth souls is wise. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30. Jesus looked upon the world in its fallen state with infinite pity. He took humanity upon himself that he might touch and elevate humanity. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. He reached to the very depth of human misery and woe to take man as he found him, a being tainted with corruption degraded with vice, depraved by sin, and united with Satan in apostasy, and elevate him to a seat upon his throne. But it was written of him that he shall not fail nor be discouraged, and he went forth in the path of self-denial and self-sacrifice, giving us an example that we should follow in his steps. We should work as did Jesus, departing from our own pleasure, turning away from Satan's bribes, despising ease and abhorring selfishness, that we may seek and save that which is lost, bringing souls from darkness into light, into the sunshine of God's love. We have been commissioned to go forth and preach the gospel to every creature. We are to bring to the lost the tidings that Christ can forgive sin, can renew the nature, can clothe the soul in the garments of his righteousness, bring the sinner to his right mind and teach him and fit him up to be a laborer together with God. The converted soul lives in Christ. His darkness passes away and a new and heavenly light shines into his soul. He that winneth souls is wise and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars for ever and ever. What is done through the cooperation of men with God is a work that shall never perish, but endure through the eternal ages. He that makes God his wisdom, that grows up into the full stature of a man in Christ Jesus, will stand before kings, before the so-called great men of the world, and show forth the praises of him who hath called him out of darkness into his marvelous light. Science and literature cannot bring into the darkened mind of men the light which the glorious gospel of the Son of God can bring. The Son of God alone can do the great work of illuminating the soul. No wonder Paul exclaims, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. The gospel of Christ becomes personality in those who believe and makes them living epistles, known and read of all men. In this way, the leaven of godliness passes into the multitude. The heavenly intelligences are able to discern the true elements of greatness in character, for only goodness is esteemed as efficiency with God. Without me, Christ says, ye can do nothing. Our faith, our example, must be held more sacred than they have been held in the past. The word of God must be studied as never before, for it is the precious offering that we must present to men in order that they may learn the way of peace and obtain that life which measures with the life of God. 
human wisdom, so highly exalted among men, sinks into insignificance before that wisdom which points out the way, cast up for the ransomed of the Lord to walk in. The Bible alone affords the means of distinguishing the path of life from the broad road that leads to perdition and death. This passage was taken from the Review and Herald, December 15, 1891. Our Daily Bread, September 13. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.